I don't know, fingerprint me and background check me or something and then send me home. Never let go of this, okay? Oh. Alright. That, you know, you're here for, for, for me for stolen items. I'm asking if you would please. We can see you. Got, I'm you sorry, I was here. No. Welcome to U.S. Criminals. Today we're exploring five cases of shoplifters caught in the act at supermarkets. Please like, share, and comment to share your thoughts. If you like this video, press one. On June 5th, 2023. The Niles, Illinois police received a report about a woman named Trista shoplifting at a Target store, attempting to steal $900 worth of items using a shopping cart. But, uh, uh, I had to, like, uh, ask for that thing. What? Uh, uh, Okay, so now what? You told me you weren't. Yeah, but then that's the fact that you didn't have your ID. I mean, I get Trista was caught by Target's loss prevention officer allegedly stealing $900 worth of merchandise. She denied leaving the store without paying, but admitted her aunt intended to pay for the items in her possession. Despite providing personal information, Trista's explanation seemed rehearsed, indicating familiarity with the process of being caught. With no remorse and a history of similar incidents, Trista now faces accountability for the theft. The bags off of the cart, puts them over her shoulder, passes the registers, passes the, the towers, she told and me I she stopped was her. Well, you for ma Sorry. And I stopped your her inside the vestibule okay. and brought her back in here. Okay. Yeah. Do you have their IDs? Do you have your ID, ma'am? She gave. She said she doesn't I, have her ID. I'm the guilty one. Okay, well. But you can you're, are you with her? Yes, yeah. my niece. Okay. Well, I'm sure my first again. This I is all that she gave me, but I mean, I don't know. He asked me and for like this more. This is here today. What all of this is going on? Yeah, yeah she, she told me that she was meeting in front. So to she was in the paper and merchandise, and then she said that her car was broke. I caught my bank. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And I was in the back of the Bell? store. So what's your name? Trista Collins. Okay, you said of birth. We're gonna check. I was meeting her in front. She goes, meet me in front, and then she's gonna pay for it. And I didn't know I couldn't pass the towers. Okay. And then he was like, Well, you pass the towers, so it's like stealing. You come with me. He's like, it's not a big deal. He's like, we're not prosecuting you or anything. I just need you to sign something or whatever to take five to ten minutes, and you'll be out the door. I said, okay. I said, my aunt was going to pay for the merchandise, but didn't know that her card ended up becoming frozen. So she, she didn't pay for the merchandise. I didn't even know that. So she paid for this, and okay. then that, and then her card was frozen. Okay. Well, what ha and I, I was, have I was at the back of the store. No, it was, no. but no, just, it's fine. Just I have no background. I'm good. I've never done this. Fine, it's fine. I'm never done that. And she said, like, I wouldn't even be prosecuted, so I don't get it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. No, we'll be right back. He's gonna sure, call Sarge. He's gonna call Sarge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fifteen dollars. So she paid for some, but then. Put in more stuff that she didn't pay in the bags and walk past the register in the uh, screen towers. Okay, wait, it's a woman or a man? It's, it's a, a man. woman. It's a woman. It's a woman? Yes. Uh, $950? Yes, and the uh, target uh, person, they want to file complaints. A yeah, complaint. no, yeah, absolutely, bring her in. Okay. And then you have, uh, get everything you need, and then you have 133 meet you at the, uh, at the station for search. Okay. Nice. Right. Okay. So.
So you have to explain to him about the process that he's got to show up to court, that he's got to go home into the police department and sign complaints. Okay. So let put her on cuffs first and then... Put this shit out of your okay. hands. Okay. Stop having stuff in your hands, Fernando. Okay. Put that away. You had the receipt. Okay. Do you have anything? Nothing's on you? No. Nothing? Okay. Nothing at all. So if you want to give it to her. Yeah. Thanks. You're gonna handcuff me too? Yes, we have to. And fight for policy. Oh my God, he's such not you, but he's. A we gotta do. We're gonna do double cuffs, okay? Just for comfort, okay? It's for comfort, you know, unless you want to do the single. See, it's fine. Ooh. Yeah, it's not for, you see, it's not for bro. comfort. Oh, Wait, how do I do this? Do you want me to Well, no, I need you to come with me because they're gonna probably just. I don't know, fingerprint me and background check me or something and then you sign home. Never let go of this, okay? <gasps> oh. Alright. I didn't mean to y'all get anything up on that, but. I like yourself, what I have. I mean, I sort of remember where the Niles is. Uh, uh, we're right down the street. So, Tui, you head westbound, you'll run right into the apartment. It's Milwaukee. Yeah, I know. I used to walk, work at the Bravo Cafe mm -hmm. many yeah. moons ago. My uncle was a police officer at the apartment. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was really. He's a police officer. So, it's a little pink bracelet. Oh, it's, uh, I, do you mind if I take it off and just give it to your aunt? Because less less stuff you have, less faster yeah. stuff. And what is your ring? Yeah, that's hard. Is that a wedding ring? Are you married? Mm, mm, no. Okay. You, you can take uh, it off if you want. That's fine. It's really serious. You can keep that. Okay. I'm a little. Looks expensive, so I don't want to take it off. Ooh, just follow you. Are you able to break from here within like the next hour to meet us at the police department so you could sign the complaints and then yeah. be done with it? Uh, what's the address? It's 7,000. It's on the car. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Terrible. Trista was detained and taken to a police car. She wasn't upset or outraged about the theft accusation. She had a well-prepared story explaining the confusion and didn't seem to think it was a big deal. On December 27, 2023, officers responded to a report of a shoplifter at a Dillard store. They apprehended a woman trying to flee and discovered she tried to bribe loss prevention officers. She admitted to stealing because she had a date planned with her husband. A great service. Nope, not my turn. Thank you. <laughs> uh -uh. Hey, how you doing? Hey. So, I've got a 1012. And I do have your um, hot machine. Yeah, I have a 1012. But I was waiting on you to get it. Um, she had all that merchandise. And they gave it back. In a Dillard store, a female suspect was caught attempting to steal items. Despite admitting her guilt and offering to pay, a female officer remained focused on the evidence. New items with tags found in her purse and dubious explanations about receipts and using narcotics. Despite the suspect's emotional pleas and claims of innocence, the officer maintained a firm but professional demeanor. The suspect, identified as a professional thief, was charged with felony theft for attempting to steal $799 worth of dresses, potentially facing jail time. Narcotics in here? No, I just need to see if they're No, you have gloves. There's, not, got some. there's no narcotics in there. Bro, don't lie to me. That's not what I said for. What is it for? It's not for that. Okay. It's used to burn insects. Burn, used to burn insects. Yes, it is. Okay. You have one of those? That's these selling. I can't put one on one. Regularly, and it's used to burn insects. So when I test this, it's going to have incense powder. Don't lie. Okay. Yeah. I just need another glove to put this in. Yeah, she's going to get it. So all, this is just, I don't see no receipt for this, but they didn't call in about this. I'm only here for the Dillard stuff, but there's no receipt. You can't have possibly bought something and you don't have a receipt for it. And I do. It's in my, it's in my, it's my car. It's my husband. You came in here. So where's your husband now? 
they're somewhere out here looking for. Yeah, seven hundred dollars. It's over seven hundred dollars. Ma'am. Yes. All right. I gave you too much information. You have a good day. Ma'am. Yes. Listen, can, listen. I'm not calling your husband I back. I understand that. And I wasn't going to ask for that. I was going to say that, you know, you're here for, for, for me for stolen items. I'm asking if you would please not charge me with other things. I'm not. I'm this one. I'm not talking about that stuff. I'm, oh, I'm talking yeah. about you trying to test that for instance. Uh, I'm going to power. test it. I, I, it don't matter. I don't have to charge you for it, but if you're lying to me, I'm going to test it. You're just going to get yourself in more trouble. Just tell me what it is. I don't care what it is. I can destroy it, but you're lying to me. If you lie to me, I'm not going to save you right now. Just tell me what it's for. It's going to be destroyed if you just tell me what it's for. Just tell her the truth. Remember, I told you that earlier. When they got here, I said, tell them. Tell them. Tell them. It's not incense. So what, what is it? Is. I, I'm sorry, but I, I don't know. You don't know, but it's not. I'm sorry. If I put my hands under my butt, please, can I not wear cuffs? I'm not no. dangerous. No. Um, no, that's not That's not how we do that here. Turn around. That's oh, not so how we do that. Okay. Okay. And, and I get that. Our, um, you aren't, I'm not, I'm, no, gents, you're not big, you're not fat, so I know you a double lock, but you're not big, and your hands can fit behind your back. Come on. No? Okay. <laughs> no, but I need to ask you to, Terencia, because you know her do. Make one, because I don't want him to get in my face. That's my boss. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. So two dress, three dresses, a shirt, and a purse. Mm -hmm. Great. Oh, so you already get, already had one. Okay. Yeah. Already had one. Oh, Sorry. Okay. What did it come to? Eight hundred. Yeah. yeah. You got a felony. Oh, it's felony. Oh, like this will be oh, a felony. Okay. What is? Gotcha. Yeah. This will be a felony because it's over. Let me see. One eight. Yeah, it was $7.99, seven so $7.99 exactly, because we don't do the tax for us. No matter, it's, it's over $700. Right now, okay. $7 yeah, it's over $700, so yes. you just put yourself a felony. You're going to have a higher bond, that's all. There's going to be other bond out there, unless it's a higher Okay, Trace's amount. Thanks for being honest. Anything else? That's that. All right. Like I said, this will no, be no, trash. Nothing, nothing. Just trash. This is automatically getting trash. The like in the trash, I can throw this in the trash. No, that stuff trash. has to be trashed in a different manner. But all right, this is getting trash. Okay, all right. Please stand up. Right now, you have a felony theft. So stand up. Like I said, this is trace amounts, and I will figure it out in a minute. And I'll be honest if I tell you I'm gonna charge you with it or not. Okay, but right now. I'm not dealing with that right now. All right? We're going to walk this way. You can walk slow and have people look at you, or you can walk fast to get you to the park. Up to you. Out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Right there. You have a baby. A female police officer escorted the suspect out of the mall and into a police car. She was taken to the police department for further processing and later charged with felony theft, leaving her husband and four kids behind. On April 4, 2024, when police arrived, Medina saw them and tried to leave. She had a scarf around her face, like a typical robber because she knew she was trespassing in the store. Come here. Yeah, with her, Celeste Aguera. Can I do this return? Come with me. Huh? Come with me. I gotta do this return. What are you returning? Uh, she's not allowed to return them. I already told her. She never has to. Hey. Look. You also trespassed in the store, too. You cannot. You have to have the physical receipt well, because you go out there and you scan them into there and then you come in here and try to return to the I just see the too. return. It says show this item that. To, to, because yeah. you uploaded your receipt that you stole out of the parking lot. But I just bought this stuff. No, you didn't. Oh my god. Where's the receipt? That's the receipt. She said I can't um That's all what I bought. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to return it and she's all you stole this stuff. Yeah, I don't be in this store. 
Put your hands behind your back. Really? Yep. Come on. Medina tried to return stolen items with a fake receipt after being caught without a genuine one. Her surprise at being arrested instead of receiving a ticket indicates she hasn't faced serious consequences before. The author criticizes the lack of accountability for shoplifters, noting it raises prices for everyone else. Walmart and similar stores employ facial recognition and a global network to track shoplifters, making it hard to evade detection at different locations. Those yeah. are 15 each, bucks? Each one. Something like that. Or 12. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing that. It's expensive. And it's not really expensive nowadays. That's not. Do you want one or two copies? I need one copy. You have. I need two copies. You need one. He needs one, and I need one. Oh. No, no, no. Those ain't on. I saw her grab the. She yeah. Hello. How you doing? Are you with her? No, we used to hook up every once in a while, and I'd lost her number. Uh huh. And then I saw her walking through here, and I was like, hey, how you doing? And then you guys rolled in. I was like, never mind. <laughs> uh, and you, you had just seen her when she was walking this way? Yeah, I was just, we were just passing each other. I was walking out. Uh -huh. So I was like, and then you guys showed up. I was like, no. <laughs> gotcha. What was your name? My name's Sam. Hey, everybody. I just said I've been arrested. Like this? Uh, yeah, we all have a past. I'll call him one of jail. I don't know. That, that's the second time I walked back in. That's the second time? Yeah, I walked back in with the stuff. With my stuff, I paid for it yesterday. Well, yeah. yesterday I paid for it, but... Excuse me. Excuse me. There's me. So, stuff in my hand? I didn't steal it from you. Well, I mean, I paid for it from here, but I didn't steal it. I didn't go in and steal, I didn't go in and steal it, and then come. No, I didn't do all that. When did you buy it? I bought it yesterday. Yeah, did she? Did we have a receipt? Where did you buy it? We can narrow it down. It used to be lost prevention. Where? No. Actually, I bought it in Rodoso. I'm not gonna lie to you. I bought it in Rodoso. I don't believe you. You know why I don't believe you? Because you told me here, and then you're like, oh, okay, I bought mm -hmm. it in Rodoso. It's okay. Guess what? We can do. We can look up video on Rodoso too. <laughs> I'll get you the parking lot should open. I do not know. Cause she, she already had the item with her. She just told me, hey, can you, can you return this? Who is this? Just tell me. Uh, just tell me, because it's just us. Let's go. Mona, uh, you know Mona? The bigger chick? No, I don't know Mona. She's a fatter chick. She, uh, she's Smiley's mom. Who's? Smiley. She just got, I can't think, I don't know her last name, it's Mona, I know her first name. She just got out of prison recently. Well, it was more than 10 minutes ago because from the time we make contact with you coming in here. Yeah, it was more than 10 minutes ago. It was sometime tonight. But it was like, it was like between 9 and 9 years. Her name's Mona, I don't know her last name. You need to cut that out because that's a felony charge. Is she in prison yet? Yeah, she's already in prison. It's her mom. I don't know her mom. Oh, God, her mom is something. I don't know her fucking last name. Oh, my God. Can she give me somebody else's random last name? I don't know the bitch's last name. I'm going to jail for shit because I don't know the bitch's last name. I don't know her last name. Maybe seven chick charges. I don't know her last name. Mona's in prison. No, she's not. She's, yeah. No, she's not. She's I out. put her in prison. She had eight fucking ounces of meth. She's in prison. She's out and about right now. I just it's see her tonight. I'm telling you she's out and about right now. This Rodriguez, I only have a first name of Mona. Um, I've dealt with her. I arrested her and put her in prison. Um, it's not her mom either. Oh, I don't know. She said she's Smiley's mom. But Yeah, I put Mona in prison. She's about it, dude. She just got out. She just got out recently. Medina will be arrested for grand theft, banned from all Walmarts in the state, and was taken by a female officer to the police department for processing. Oh, this side. What, is, what do you got on you right now? Are you? I don't know. Stay right there. Really? I'm driving a red car. That's f***ing What's really f***ing up is that you still do this 25 years old. Okay, and I stopped doing Stop. this. Stop. Turn around, face the vehicle. 
spread your feet apart. What? You have anything on your bruiser? Yes or no? No. One. I have a no favor, please. You got something in your left side? Yeah. It's money. Three dollars. Okay. One, please. I'll stop. Where you want, honey? I, I haven't this, been to Walmart though. And then we're going to continue to pay to play this game back and no, forth. No, I want to haven't been to, I haven't done this in a long time. Stay there. Really? Over here, man. On July 14, 2022, officers were called to the CVS to meet with management about a woman who had stolen items. The suspect was not present, but they had video footage of her. I can use that. Uh, yeah, no, you stole from this, this, this establishment. Wait, no. Yeah, you did. You shopped with you from this place. Wait, early? Yeah, twice. Oh, okay. Yes, it's on camera. I watch you take one. I'll take this off your shoulder for you. Listen, I bought this in here. I leave was I bought this in here. And what I what I took. I bought this in there. And that's all I got in my bag. That's it. What'd you do with all the stuff that you took? I didn't take nothing. Okay, okay, listen to me. I watched you steal from this establishment. Look, yeah, I I'll be right back. I'll okay, be right back. appreciate it. No, she probably seen me pick this stuff up. But I did not. I did not take. No, it. I watched I'm, you put it in your bag. No, I look. I, I did not. I, I did not. I did not have it. Even look, I don't have nothing in my bag. That's all I yeah, have. Yeah, you left and you and you dumped it. You took I it home no, or I, no, I did not leave. I, can't, I was. I was around here. I have not went home. I have I've been around. Well, here. here's the problem. Um, you're, regardless of whether you have it right now or not, if you conceal something. A suspect initially reported absent but later seen on store video. Officers returned to ban her for trespassing, finding her described with a red shirt, turquoise dyed hair, and a sporty black belt. She agreed to leave but was later found with stolen items she initially denied taking, later admitting to taking two coins. Claiming homelessness with three children, she considered fleeing but was detained. After providing false information and feigning a seizure during a search, EMS transported her to a hospital where she remained oddly awake. You thought you were too. That would make things worse. Mm -hmm. What are you buying all the detergent for if you're homeless? The wash clothes. I went this man, this man who stayed in seats. He paid me, well, he gave me money and everybody used to wash his clothes. He's a big guy. Like, sometimes he feed me, sometimes he did stay there. So you, you, it's, a, a job of sorts. Yeah, like, I heard he was a big guy, so he put all his clothes in the trunk. Yeah. Take me to the one on Millage, and I watched his clothes before. I was just thinking, if I get this right here, then I hear him throw me more. Mm -hmm. All right, you want to do it? You want to do it? How long do you want to do it? Who do you sell that to? At this point, we're just arguing over how many times charge it. Yeah. Who are you selling it to? He got charged me. He's going to check the criminal history right now. Can you tell us who you're selling it to? His name? This well, this, the detergent this guy um had been washing his clothes for him, and he's a big guy. He comes stay here and eat sometimes, his feet and stuff. So I just I wash his clothes for him, and I thought maybe if I get the stuff for him, then you know he can throw me extra money. That's it. I don't, I really don't know nobody. So you do his dirty work, and you're the one that goes to jail. <laughs> I wouldn't even think like y'all just trying to give him somewhere to stay. I had laid down for so long. You know they are homeless shelters. I tried getting one. I don't got no kids. You don't have to have kids. We have three. We have three different shelters in Athens. My advice to you is, if you don't have your GED, go get your GED. You can get it free and find you a job. And that way you won't be the history. So we're waiting on the history right now. I read the history. That's the problem. And there's. There's the only charge on that is giving false name to law enforcement, but I don't think it's her. Long way from Arch and Gresham, huh? Long way from Arch and Gresham. What's your name? We pulled her driver's license from her. You don't look like her. You got no formal ID, no nothing on you. No, every time y'all pull me over, every time. Okay.
under the name that she's giving us right now, all it shows is false information. Um, it doesn't show shoplifting, but again, we can't be certain yeah. it's her, so it's still your option of what you want to do right now. If we can just borrow her and we'll get her on our way and do the report, or you can... If, if uh, I do want to borrow her, and if she's under a shoplifting charge before... We, uh, that's what I'm saying, the only thing it shows right now under that name yeah. is uh, false information. It doesn't show. Try and do a... All over. Apparently she's acting like she's having a seizure on the floor. Well, there we go. Come on. You're okay. There you go. All right. Nice recovery position. You're good. You're okay. You're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. You're going to be okay. You'll be fine. You got it. You're all right. There's nothing I can do for you right here until the ambulance gets here, so make sure you don't hurt yourself. We'll get you treated. And we'll take you to jail once you're done. False names. Operation. Yeah, she's not better to take her. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's going to have to be warrants. Right. Do what? Wait, Miss. I'm supposed to go. go. No, it's involved right now. We're good. All the way to the house. Wait on the ambulance. Charge, you go good. Yeah. Okay. Did you just go 10 8? I told him I was good because you were here. He said he was missing some kind of sound or something. I'm here missing for this. So I was like, I got this archer. If you need to take off, take off. That's whatever. Uh -huh. Seizures. I don't know. You said she's had them though? Yes, yeah, yeah. She had seizures in her lap. Like, okay. like, are they drug related? Because I don't know. Um, I, don't, I don't even know. <laughs> the sugar's good. Where she live at now? She's just homeless. I see her at Arch and Gratch from all the time. Yeah. Um, Can you talk to me? Did you talk to me? Why did you talk to me? And besides the race, you guys want to do? Yes, uh, if we need to take her to the hospital, you gotta take her to the hospital. But... <laughs> is, she, is she in your custody? She's not under arrest right now. Okay. We were in best. Yeah, but medical help uh, is more important than. Well, I mean, like I said, you, you can take this, an ambulance to, in your custody if somebody wants to go with them. Oh, I mean, I don't think the county wants to pay for a misdemeanor warrant, so. Yeah. Ultimately, she was charged with misdemeanor theft, given two years of probation, and confined for 23 days. On October 19, 2023, police responded to a retail theft incident. After identifying the suspects, officers pursued their vehicle. The suspects crashed into oncoming traffic during the chase and attempted to escape on foot. Both were apprehended shortly after. They face charges including resisting arrest, retail theft, operating an uninsured vehicle, and leaving the scene of an accident. It's just 1050, 159 on the Grange, they're running. Females are running westbound towards the Best Buy. Westbound towards the Best Buy. Or 6962. I'm by the mail store. You need a perimeter around Lakeview and they won't be able to get out. I got one behind the Buffalo Wild Wings, the other one going north. Or at 1602. I'm by the math store. Northbound behind Buffalo Wild Wings. Stop running! Can I get more units behind Buffalo Wild Wings? You okay? Okay. You got the fart? I saw it. I was screaming, but what could we do? Soon the officers were able to catch the second female, too. Protect behind your back. Take that off. My purse. I don't care about your purse. Several cars were obstructed, causing panic among drivers. The suspects avoided jail time, receiving fines and probation instead. The female suspect displayed erratic behavior, complaining of chest pain later. The speaker criticizes their self-centered actions and emphasizes the importance of respecting the law. Stolen items were found in the suspect's car trunk by police. What's that? 
Yeah. Well, I'm not playing. I saw it. I saw you guys both shut down. You got anything on you that's going to poke or stab me? No. No weapon? Nothing. KSO 6. KSO 8. Can you be in route? Yeah, I know. I saw you. That's one. I know. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing to do with that. Here's what the witnesses told the police. So, was, when, yeah, what did you see though? I was sitting here. Okay. And all of a sudden this car started sliding this way and hit this car. Okay. This car hit back. That car hit that car, that car backed into okay. this which car. Which car, was, which way was this blue car going? That was it, tur it was turning? We are going straight. Okay. I think it was going. I think it was going. Okay. And then this part was speeding. Yeah, okay. Can I ask y'all, did y'all saw what happened? Yeah. I, I almost didn't see it. Yeah, that's what. This part was speeding and then they like intersected. They, they, because they was going straight and they, yeah. oh, he was going to turn or something and they yeah, hit and him. They were, yeah. And so they back, like he hit me. Yeah. I said, I just wanted to go home. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. You scared because you're supposed to I dropped the echo. Oh. Could be a dead little kid in the car, all for some alcohol. It's not. They're not dead. There's nothing wrong huh? with them. Yes, She's in I the got running. one right here. Yeah. 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 Or you got to go back to... Uh, Logan, you got to do a show yeah. off, right? Yeah. Uh, He'll drop yeah. off we see in video. Okay. We're going to just go. Yeah. And I don't have a bond. I would really worry less about your bond and what they just told you. You crashed into some people. I didn't kill them. Maybe, no, no. maybe you're pushing too Yes, I think we were coming yeah. from here. Turn Making a left turn? turn? Yes. Okay. And then behind there. Thank you. Okay. Right hey, do you got any merchandise? No, oh, dude. Um, the only thing in that bag is an Xbox. And I don't see any booze in here to show me. Half the trunk yet. This was just tossed, though, on top of all their stuff. Maybe they hit another store, but... Uh, well, I'll bring it back to Logan. He can figure it out. So, hey, there should be... Uh, Logan's describing some sort of, like, yellow purse. Yeah. Yeah. Into a car, too. We could see you. I'm sorry, I was scared. No. You got family? Yes. That's somebody standing in our other car. Oh, oh my God. All right, she's positive. Let's take her. I was scared. I was scared. I don't want to go to jail. No. I don't want to go to jail. I want to go to jail. Are we, so are we looking for this bag or? We are. We. I don't okay. know. If we don't. We don't have any bags in the car with the booze. Right. My guys will handle taking the booze back and receipts and all that stuff. Video from Logan. They can take care of that. Why? I can't breathe. Can you crack a window, please? No, we can't crack a window. But you I know what you can breathe. do. Take some deep breaths. I can't breathe in here. Is there a case Here, jump on out, man. Uh, Both were charged with resisting arrest, retail theft, driving an uninsured vehicle, and fleeing the accident scene.